Azoospermia is a lack of sperm in the ejaculate. There are two types of azoospermia, obstructive and non-obstructive. In non-obstructive, azoospermia refers to a condition where sperm production is severely impaired. The sperm retrieval options that are available for non-obstructive azoospermia include fine needle aspiration, open testicular biopsies, and microdissection testicular sperm extraction. Microdissection testicular sperm extraction, also called microtesy, is based on the principle of intraoperative identification of the most advanced stage of spermatogenesis with the aid of an operating microscope. It relies upon our ability to identify differences in tubular size and opacity to decide which tubules are most likely to contain sperm and therefore should be removed for sperm retrieval. After dividing the tunica albuginea along an equatorial, relatively avascular plane, the testicular tissue is everted and the seminiferous tubules are examined under the operating microscope. Hemostasis is attained with bipolar microforceps. Unnecessary cautery should be avoided to prevent destruction of tubules. White, opaque, full tubules are more likely to contain sperm. However, in some cases, an enlarged tubule may just contain germ cells and does not contain sperm. Tubules that are removed are processed and examined intraoperatively by an embryologist for the presence of sperm. Microtesi has some technical challenges. The tubules that are selected to be extracted are based only on characteristics such as size and color. The operation requires long operating times and requires a long learning curve coupled with surgeon experience. In order to overcome some of these challenges, we have applied the live vital imaging technique of multiphoton microscopy, MPM. MPM is a novel approach to help identify areas of spermatogenesis. MPM uses a laser to enable deep imaging into tissues up to 500 microns. The most important advantages of MPM are that it enables visualization without exogenous labels or dyes and does not require processing of tissue. Additionally, MPM is capable of real-time, that is, in vivo imaging. In order to study whether MPM can be used to identify focal sites of spermatogenesis, we use a rat Sertoli cell-only model. This model will enable us to create a heterogeneous pattern of histologies within the testis. In four adult male Sprague Dolly rats, we injected busulfan at 10 mg per kilogram on day 0 and day 22. About 20 days after the second dose, we imaged the testes. Under ketamine anesthesia, we placed the live animal under the multi-photon microscope. The blue light of the laser is demonstrated in the figure. The testis capsule was incised and tubules imaged directly under the multi-photon microscope. This video segment reflects the real-time imaging of the testis under MPM at low magnification. 4X. Shown on the left top corner is the capsule. The two tubules with spermatogenesis are evident in the middle, whereas the tubules in between are smaller and most likely contain Sertoli cell-only histology. Under high magnification at 25 times, we see the tubule on the right with spermatogenesis, and the tubule on the left without spermatogenesis. Our results demonstrate that multiphoton microscopy can identify tubules with and without spermatogenesis. Panel A is an MPM image, again without exogenous labels or dyes, and Panel B is the corresponding H and E stained section of these tubules, concordant with MPM imaging results. In addition to identifying normal spermatogenesis, MPM can also distinguish the common testicular histologies seen in men with infertility. These figures show hypospermatogenesis, maturation arrest, and Sertoli cell-only histology. Since MPM uses a laser to image, we also evaluated its safety with the different laser powers. We use the tunnel assay to study sperm DNA fragmentation after imaging. The y-axis demonstrates the tunnel score in percentage, and the x-axis demonstrates the average laser power used for imaging in milliwatts.
we see that it powers 125 and 150 milliwatts that are commonly used for imaging. There is no statistically significant DNA fragmentation compared to controls. However, with higher power imaging that is not required for routine use at 250 milliwatts, we see an increase in the tunnel score. Hence, NPM imaging at low powers appears to be a safe imaging modality. Future Application of MPM Guided Testicular Sperm Extraction This animation demonstrates a model of how multiphoton microscopy could be used clinically to guide testicular sperm extraction. The testis is incised in an equatorial plane to expose tubules. The multiphoton probe can be brought into the operating field to scan the tubules looking for spermatogenesis. When spermatogenesis is detected, then the tubules can be extracted for processing. So, in summary, these results indicate that multiphoton imaging can be used in a rodent model to identify focal sites of spermatogenesis. MPM imaging could potentially be used to guide testicular sperm extraction in patients. Multiphoton imaging is safe based on tunnel testing. Functional sperm evaluations are underway to confirm the safety of this intraoperative imaging technique.